Final Fantasy XV was the first in the mainline series to really just go all in with that pure action-focused battle system, and I, personally, enjoyed the battle system of Final Fantasy XV. I loved it, but it became way too easy, with no option at all for a more challenging experience. Final Fantasy XV offered a new game plus that carried over all your progress, but nothing changed. You would literally one-shot everything with your super-powered equipment and high-level Noctis in the boys. It was just not intuitive. It wasn't done correctly. Now, Final Fantasy VII Remake corrected that misstep by allowing the players to replay the game's chapters on a hard mode difficulty, which actually forced the player to think up new strategies. As enemies were now stronger and had new attack patterns. Now I've seen many comments even here on Final Fan TV videos say that Final Fantasy VII Remake was just a hack and slash with no proper party management and menu system and all that other stuff. And my response to that is always, have you even tried hard mode yet? You know what I'm saying? Because you absolutely must spend time in the menus with thoughtful planning for before the next encounter. So it brings me great satisfaction to see that Final Fantasy 16 will offer various difficulty options, including a new game plus mode. Let's dive in. The first is action focused mode, a balanced challenge with the hopes that the player will progress through the story without causing frustration. The devs never want to see that statistic that says more players didn't finish the story than those who did. They want you to roll the credits, but that won't mean it'll be so easy that you'll just mindlessly hack and slash your way to victory. Now, quote, we've settled on a difficulty level where once you pass the halfway point, you can expect to have to press continue once every boss fight, even for those confident with action games, end quote. So this seems like a great way to go, a great way to play the game if you're familiar with the action genre, but what if you're one of those uh, traditional Final Fantasy fans who just really just wanted that turn-based combat and hey, you know what? More power to you, Bravely Default, Fantasian, please go play these games! You want to play Final Fantasy 16, you want to experience the story, and I want you to as well. The developers want you to as well. This mode is called the Story Focused Mode. Players will be equipped with the Auto Attack Ring and the Auto Slow Ring. The former will make combat sequences easier while the latter will actually slow down time as enemies are close to striking you, enabling you more time to dodge. Making the game easier relies on whether the player has both rings equipped or just one ring equipped. Uh, it, yeah, so it's completely up to you to kind of shape the experience to your liking in this mode. Quote, as you acquire more icon abilities, they'll link up with one another on their own. The idea is that, you know, these developers hope you will continue to enjoy the combat of Final Fantasy 16 so much because you'll be looking super badass as Clive, doing all these awesome moves and you don't even know how you're doing them, but it looks cool, it looks flashy, you like it, and you say, well, you know what? I kind of want to have more control over Clive. And then you bump the difficulty up and then you've kind of eased your way into this action-focused combat system. For those who like the challenge, more strategy involved, this mode is for you. Transcendence mode. Quote, for the truly hardcore crowd, the levels in it are fixed. So if you really want to be able to boast during your streams, please be sure to give this one a try, end quote. Sakai later suggests not to play this mode on the first playthrough. Now this indicates to me that it'll be available when you start the game for the very first time and not an unlockable mode, but he could have misspoke for the sake of a quick joke because I think when he says the level will be fixed, I'm thinking that's from your first playthrough on or maybe at max level you go through and every enemy's at max level. I'm not sure because no other details were really given about this mode but I am assuming that this mode will be unlockable uh, after you've beaten the game on either action focus mode or story focused mode. Um, and then you'll unlock the transcendence mode for the next game mode called New Game Plus. 
There you go. It has been confirmed that New Game Plus will be there. Quote, you'll start off being able to use all of the equipment and abilities you obtained the first time through. Because Clive's levels also carries over, we've strengthened the enemies accordingly. End quote. So I really like that New Game Plus is here for Final Fantasy 16. Um, it's it, it just encourages replayability. You know, the various game modes that I've just talked about support accessibility. So this experience is going to be however you want it to be. Now for me personally, I want that transcendence mode. I'm excited for it. I'm just excited that there's multiple modes to choose from. I loved it in Remake. Now there was one thing that Remake did was actually changing up attack patterns and really making you think about your the way you equip materia now i hope that final fantasy 16 also changes up attack patterns to really kind of throw you off uh your what you remembered from the first time through and you're just like whoa wait a second now he's swinging the sword twice across the platform odin what are you doing man uh and it's just gonna just make you make you think a little bit more um and then also maybe spending more time in the menus where you have to really think about what icon abilities you want that you can only have two equipped just really spend time in the menus that's what final fantasy is you know one of the things that final fantasy is all about so take care now bye bye then